What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Day of Toys video. Today, we are back with our WWE Royal Rumble 2023 official predictions video. We have not done one of these in a really long time, man, but it's kind of sentimental because my first video I ever uploaded on this channel, I don't even know if it's up anymore. I don't think it is. My first ever video uploaded to my YouTube channel was Royal Rumble 2017 full show predictions with figures just like this, and I sound like somebody had me at gunpoint in that video. It was so terribly cringe it was god awful so i guess you could say i think that was uploaded on like january 28th or something like that i can't remember the exact date but that was uh six years ago so the birth of the channel is six years old i guess you could say as of today just because it's you know it's royal rumble predictions but who would have guessed uploading that first video how far we'd come and all the things that le led up to this video right here man but i greatly appreciate every single person that watches every day that likes the videos comment has ever enjoyed the channel in any way no matter what video you've watched or you've enjoyed man i appreciate you guys so very much and uh, I, I thank you so much every day man you guys have been just an absolute blessing to me and mdt and my damn toys will forever be a part of my life regardless if i quit tomorrow you know what i mean but that's besides the point just wanted to put that out there that this is the six-year-old birthday of the channel i have two children now nonetheless man getting into royal rumble 2023 i'm officially going to be there so if you guys are going to be in San Antonio for the Royal Rumble. Definitely look for me. I'd love to meet you guys, take a picture, whatever you want to do, what have you, all those different things, but I'm so excited for this show, man. I guess it's because I am going, but I am just intrigued with everything with the Bloodline, the Royal Rumble itself. I think some of the matches outside the Royal Rumble itself are very intriguing. I'm intrigued. I am fully intrigued, but today we're going to break down my full WWE Royal Rumble 2023 predictions. I'm going to predict what's going to happen. I'm going to give you the winners, all those different things, man. We're going to break it all down here today in this video and uh, I have a pretty good track record for picking Royal Rumble winners. I think in the six years on this channel, I want to say I have like a 60, maybe 70% win rate when it comes to predicting the winner of the Royal Rumble. So let's see if I can get it right this year, man. Let's dive into WWE Royal Rumble 2023 and see who's going to win these matches. All right, guys, so getting into the first matchup, we have the Raw Women's Championship match. And I guess I can get this out there now. There's only five matches on this card at time of recording. They may add one or two. I'm not going to go over the pre show i guess because it's not up i can't i can't predict shish that's not announced so i'm actually recording this on wednesday morning and so if they announce other matches i apologize maybe I can put you know pin them in the comments down below or something but only five matches as of now i kind of hope they add more because i'm going to the show and i want it to be longer but you know nonetheless we have bianca belair taking on alexa bliss for the raw women's championship up for grabs here in this matchup one that i'm intrigued with i'm very excited to see how alexa bliss uses you know the bray wyatt's and the Uncle Howdy's and the different things going on with that. I think that we will definitely get a finish like that, but I'm struggling to see if she's going to win. What if it looks like, you know, she's going to be helped and then she gets turned on or something like that? I feel like it may be too predictable that she's going to win, but at the same time, I could see her winning this matchup, man. I think I'm going to predict Alexa Bliss to win the Raw Women's Championship. It's such a tough one, but I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go Alexa Bliss to win the Raw Women's Championship. I don't feel 100%, you know, confident in that pick but i'm gonna go with it anyways i'm i just want to see uncle howdy and the mind games and all this stuff we've been building towards i feel like you have to pay that off somehow and that's what i'm intrigued with hopefully it'll come to fruition here with an alexa bliss w next up is a matchup that i have no idea what the hell is going to take place man i mean we're talking about a mountain dew pitch black match uh, a match that i have thought about running a match a figure match here on the channel about and i'll, I'll get into that I, I can't wait to showcase that project to you but bray wyatt taking on la Knight. I think Bray Wyatt has to win convincingly here. I'm going to predict that Bray Wyatt wins. I don't know how convincing it'll be, but with the torch pass from The Undertaker, that moment that they shared taking out LA Knight, when you take into effect this recharacterization of Bray Wyatt again, you have to pay it off. You cannot do that to this man again, taking L's for no damn reason. He's got to win here. I'm going to predict him to win and hope to God it's, it's intriguing, it's interesting. And by God, I'm sitting ringside. What if I get splashed with some effing Mountain Dew, bro. I mean, I'm all for that, you guys know, but I'm gonna go Bray Wyatt to get the win here. I don't think there's too much thought that needs to be put into this. Up next is our WWE World Heavyweight Universal Championship match between Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens. This is the matchup that I am most looking forward to outside of the Men's Royal Rumble. I mean, when you talk about story, when you think about, like, just the intrigue and the interest in this matchup, man, so much riding on the line. I honestly have, like, there's just 
so much going through my mind. If you guys missed my fantasy booking video from yesterday, definitely go check that out because we go into grave detail about, you know, a potential storyline they could go with. And things may change on Friday Night SmackDown, you know, uh, at the time you're seeing this or, or whatever going into Saturday. Maybe something's changed, but this is just unbelievable. Coming in, the storyline they built with the Sami, with the Sami Zayn and the Bloodline, the Honorary Oos, and the Sami Zayn trials they had the other night on Monday Night Raw. Just such a fun story and one that has just been building and building. I mean, it is truly magnificent what we're seeing right here. This is intriguing long-term storytelling at its finest, and this is why we love professional wrestling. But getting into the meat and potatoes, I feel like there's some sort of swerve coming in this match, but I have no idea what it's going to be. But I think at the end of the night, Roman Reigns is still going to be your champion. So no matter what happens, whether Sami Zayn aligns with Kevin Owens, which I think will happen some way, which I think it'll come into the contract is what I'm predicting. I think, you know, I'm just throwing that out there. Again, go watch my fantasy booking video for more context. But I think at some point on this show, some swerve or some turn is going to happen on this show. And it's probably going to be between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens teaming up and taking out the bloodline or whatever the case is. And that'll kind of fracture the integrity of the bloodline because you guys know that Jay and Jimmy Uso gave Sami Zayn their blessing. Even though it was, you know, Roman Reigns was kind of on the fence, so now that's going to go back on Jay and Jimmy. Lots of stuff going on here, man, but at the end of the night, I think Roman Reigns is still going to be the champion. So I'm still going to predict that Roman Reigns retains his championships, but there's going to be a lot of interesting stuff here, man. I am so excited and intrigued to see this one live in person. I am gr I am just giddy thinking about it, man. I, I am so excited to see what happens, but Roman Reigns will retain the championships. Not going to lose them just yet, but I am, I am hyped to see what comes of this. All right, man. Well, it's looking a bit bare here, but we have the women's or the 30 women Royal Rumble coming up here. And as of recording, again, on SmackDown or social media before the Royal Rumble, I know they're probably going to announce like 10 women for this thing. But right now, there's only seven of the 30 announced. And that is Liv Morgan, Candice LeRae, Rhea Ripley, Raquel Rodriguez, Shayna Baszler, Zelina Vega, and Emma as announced on SmackDown Lowdown, which is kind of ridiculous. But, you know, there's so many women that they're going to add to this thing that have not been announced, right? Like, you know, damage control is going to be in here. Like, you know, EO Sky is going to make her way out there. Dakota Kai is going to be in this thing. Like, I don't see how these women are not going to be in it. You know what I mean? Her ankles are a piece of shish. Good God, get off of her. But Bailey will be in there as well. Like, I just don't see them not doing this, right? I predict Becky Lynch to be in this thing. I predict Ronda Rousey to be in this thing. You know, some of those common ladies are going to be in this. There's no doubts about it, but they're going to struggle to fill up this thing apparently but I I mean I don't have any, no surprise entrant is left off the board in my opinion I think we're gonna see Trish Stratus I think we're gonna see Lita I think we're gonna see Molly Holly I think we can potentially see the Bellas I said potentially I know they've kind of gotten some hot water they've been calling out WWE so probably not but one surprise entrant that I hope to see is going to be Naomi I think Naomi makes her triumphant return to WWE and uh, yeah she'll come back here and she will be a surprise entrant in this rumble I say all this to say i just hope for some cool surprises i hope that it's not a lifeless rumble i hope that it's high energy hope the women are flying around and i hope you know it's just not two people wrestling and then the rest of them are just chilling on the floor however it doesn't really matter because i can tell you who's gonna win this i'm predicting it right now get out of the way Liv morgan make room for rhea ripley rhea ripley is winning this rumble and if she doesn't win this royal rumble i think it's a huge mistake you know the run that she's been on this year has been fantastic with a judgment day i think that it's rhea ripley bar none it should be no Nobody else but Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley should win this Royal Rumble. I mean, who else has a case? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I Becky Lynch potentially, maybe another Ronda win, but those would be terrible. I want to see Rhea Ripley win this Rumble. Unless Mama Sasha just comes strutting through the door at number 30 and wins this thing, which would be a, an incredible thing to happen. But I'm going to go Rhea Ripley. I mean, I don't have any buts about it, man. Rhea Ripley and then all the surprises. I think this, this thing's going to be chock full of Royal Rumble surprises because the female is so massive of who could be in it I think it's going to be a bunch of legends I think we're going to get all kinds of cool surprises but Rhea Ripley is who I have winning this thing and that's all I got to say about the Women's Rumble. Getting into what it's all about man, what the show is all about, the name of the show, the Men's Royal Rumble matchup. 15 of the 30 entrants have been announced as of recording and I'm sure again they're going to announce 5 or 6 more probably before it gets time you know I'd be shocked if they went 
went into the match with only 15 announced. That would actually shock the hell out of me, but going through the list real quick, we have Kofi Kingston, Santos Escobar, Ricochet, Austin Theory, Seth freaking Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Trash Corbin, Rey Mysterio, Gunther, Cody Rhodes, Omos, Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, Braun Strowman, Karrion Cross. Now, just like the Women's Rumble, just because there's only 7 or 15 or whatever the hell number announced for this match, you know there's still, like, there is so many guys missing from the main roster that do not have a match already that are going to be plugged into this match, man. I mean, you got your Street Profits, you got your Damian Priest, your Dominic Mysterios, your Butch, Finn Balor, Matt Riddle, Otis, Chad Gable. So guys like that are quickly going to add this number up to like 27, you know what I mean? 26, 27. So we're only looking at probably three surprises or less in this Royal Rumble, at least in my personal opinion, but I'm going to get into potential surprise entrance, and then I'm going to give you my list of who we will see in this Royal Rumble, my actual list, and then I'll get into who I think is going to win, who the final four are going to be, those types of things. So getting into potential potential surprise entrance in this Royal Rumble. Not ones that I predict, just potential ones we could see that I don't actually think are going to take place. The first one is going to be Stone Cold Steve Austin. You guys know that there are rumors out there apparently that he accepted or that he was offered a big money deal for a big money match with Roman Reigns. Is that for Mania? Who knows? Is that for a Saudi show? Who knows? So he could show up at 30, maybe win the damn thing. Who knows? But I don't think it's going to happen, but it is a potential. I think, you know, no, all possibilities are on the table in my opinion. I think another potential shock entry would be Big E. I think Big E would be a really cool surprise. I think he'd get a massive pop. People would be so hyped to see Big E return. I was actually front row at the show where he last wrestled and so to witness that live, it was brutal to see that up close. So seeing him return, being there again live to see Big E compete and return after seeing him put on the shelf all those months back would be amazing, but I don't know where his medical status is. And then the last potential surprise that we could see is going to be The Rock. Now, The Rock is obviously would be massive. It would be a huge pop to come in at number 30. Would be The Rock, and he comes out, and he cleans house. He wins the Rumble, and he challenges Roman Reigns, and he's like, you're not the head of the damn table. I'm the actual head of the table, mother effer. And you know, that's a whole storyline with the Usos and the Bloodline. I mean, that is money right there. And plus, the WrestleMania being in Hollywood. I mean, it writes itself, bro. It writes itself. So I could easily see that, but apparently he's not in ring shape. Apparently, you know, he can't do it. All these different things. I don't know if I'm buying that. I don't think we'll see him until I see it happen in front of my face. I'm not going to say that's going to happen. I'm not going to predict it's going to happen, but I, it's on the table. I think these three guys are on the table. I could see an RVD and a Hurricane as well. One of those two guys showing up. You know, RVD is a new DLC. He's got, you know, he's in the showcase on 2K. Could see him possibly showing up in this thing, something like that. But now we're going to get into the four guys that I think are going to be surprise entrants in this thing. Again, not counting your, your main roster guys that are just not announced for the thing yet. I'm not including those. The Finn Balors, the Matt Riddles, etc. So the first surprise entrant that I think we're going to see in this Rumble is going to be John Cena. He's the GOAT. I just have to say that. But yeah, I, I think it's a real possibility. I think he is going to be at this year's Mania. It being in Hollywood, all those things. I think, you know, I think they're going to set up a match with him in theory, maybe. You know, maybe him and Logan Paul potentially. Maybe Logan Paul's in this thing. I don't freaking know. I hope not, but you never know. John Cena will be a surprise entrant in this thing. The next surprise entrant that I think we'll see is going to be Edge, and I guess you could say this isn't really a surprise entrant, and that's fine too, but it'll be a surprise for me. I'll be hyped to see that. I think him and Finn Balor getting into it will be a thing, so I'm going to put Edge in my surprise entrance. Next up is going to be Brock Lesnar. Now, I guess this isn't much of a surprise given that he returned at Monday Night Raw and took out Bobby Lashley in theory, and it was a whole thing. Thing, but I still have to mention it. I think he will be in this Rumble, and he's not announced yet, so I guess technically he would be a surprise entrant in this Rumble, but uh, I guess it's not that big of a surprise again. It's just, you know, it's something that I think is going to take place. And last but not least, and one that I absolutely think is going to take place, it may be at 30, it may be at 24, it may be random, I don't know. This one's going to happen, and it's going to be Randall Keith, Randy Orton. I think he's going to return from injury. He's going to turn on Matt Riddle. He's going to eliminate 
Matt Riddle, and they're going to set up a few going into WrestleMania. So those are the guys that I actually think will be surprise entrants. I would love to see a Rock. I would love to see an Austin, obviously. I would lose my effing mind, but I don't know how real that is. Like, odds makers have the Rock and Stone Cold in the top four guys possible to win this thing, which is ridiculous. That's insane just based off word of mouth, but maybe they know something we don't, Brad. They always do. Getting into the five people I think could win it, and then I'll tell you who I think will win it. Obviously, if the Rock and Stone Cold show up, I think they're, they're, they're definitely in contention to win it. So that's two of the guys right there. If they do show up, they're going to be up there to win the thing. Another potential winner that I could see maybe winning the Royal Rumble is going to be Sami Zayn. I could see Sami Zayn. You know, the storyline with the Bloodline kind of writes itself similar to The Rock. I don't think they'd give it to him, but I think it's still on the table. I think it's a potential winner there. Another big time potential winner could be Seth Rollins. I could see Seth Rollins potentially winning the Royal Rumble. I know there was a lot of word of mouth about that earlier or later in late last year, you know, coming into 2023. But the guy that I am predicting to win the Men's Royal Rumble for 2023 is going to be here front and center, man. And it's going to be Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes is going to win the 2023 Royal Rumble. I am, uh, that's my official pick. You know, you can say whatever you want. I am picking Cody Rhodes. I think he's the only guy that can dethrone Roman Reigns. And uh, maybe The Rock does show up anyway. Maybe he shows up at Elimination Chamber or something like that. And you have The Rock take on Roman on one night and then Cody take him on on another night. But I think it writes itself. Cody Rhodes wins the Royal Rumble and he goes on to challenge Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. The only reason I wouldn't think that Cody could win this thing is because they didn't save him as a surprise entrant. Like, why not have, you know, with his terrible injury, they could have, you know, put something out in the dirt sheets that, oh yeah, Cody's not ready, and then him be the shock return at 30 and then win the Royal Rumble. But they didn't do that. They they broadcasted his return. They broadcasted him entering the Rumble. They've been running these vignettes. That doesn't mean that he can't win it. I just think that that, that throws like a wrench in it. That makes it very weird. Like, maybe they have something else lined up for him for Mania. I don't know what the hell they're planning, but I'm going to officially pick Cody Rhodes, and if it's not Cody Rhodes, I would be okay with that, as long as it's not a, a dumbass win, but I'm going to officially submit my prediction for the Royal Rumble as Cody Rhodes, and uh, I feel pretty confident in that. But that is my full WWE Royal Rumble 2023 full show predictions, man. I had a lot of fun predicting this show. I think there's a lot of things up in the air. I think there's a lot of things that, uh, like, if a lot of these guys end up being in this Rumble, and it's not just full of main roster guys, like Dominic Mysterio, and, you know, the Street Profits. I love the Street Profits, but I, I, you know what I mean? A tag team, I don't want them filling up spots in the freaking Rumble. Like, I don't want to see the OC in the Rumble, you know what I mean? I want to see, like, big-time star-studded talent. I just hope for a good show, man, and I'm so excited to see the Royal Rumble and to be there live and to witness it up close and personal, and I just hope it's a good show, man. That's all you can really hope for, but that is going to wrap up my full show predictions, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below on what you think. Again, I am going to be live in person, so if you guys see me there, want to take a photo, want to meet, want to talk, chat, whatever, man, I am always down. So, I look forward to it, but I'm just excited for the Royal Rumble. It's Royal Rumble season. It's WrestleMania season. Best time to be a wrestling fan, but I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and have a blessed one. We'll never